hello siblings welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be filming a pretty fun video i'm just gonna do my makeup and i want to talk to you guys about something that's actually important because sometimes i forget i have this platform that i can share like really good advice with you guys on and help you through things that i've had to go through So today I am going to be talking about how I stopped needing validation from other people, from people on the internet, from really anyone. And I'm not saying that this is easy, I'm not saying I'm perfect at it, I definitely still struggle with it, but these are my tips on how I got better at it because it used to be really really bad for me. I used to 100% just like rely on validation from random people, from people on the internet. I always felt like I had to act a certain way, dress a certain way, be a certain type of person and I was never truly being myself and therefore I was never happy, I was never content, I was never confident and this is kind of how I overcame that. Obviously there is no like one size fits all for this but this is just kind of what I did and what helped me so I'm going to do my makeup and talk to you guys a little bit about that. So that being said, if you guys enjoy videos like this, you want more advice, whatever, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a post and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's get started. So first thing I have to say is that you are going to have to be so patient with yourself because anytime you're trying to improve yourself or make changes about yourself, it's definitely going to take time. It's not going to be an overnight thing, not even a week or a month, maybe even not a year thing. This takes like time, it takes effort, and you just have to be patient. So my first point is probably a pretty obvious one, but social media. I think social media has impacted our generation. I mean, I don't think. I know social media has impacted our generation more than anyone else before. We have a easier access to it, more access to it, more types of social media, and obviously the world is impacted by this and we're impacted by this and it can affect our confidence, our need for validation, all of that kind of stuff. It can really impact our mental health, which is why probably a lot of our generation has so many mental health struggles. But one thing I want to talk about, and I'm not going to say don't use social media. I just want you to be intentional with your social media use. Don't just sit scrolling for hours. And I'm not saying that I'm good at this. I will spend like four hours on TikTok and I'm like, what did I just do? Like, why did I do that? Just be more intentional with your social media use. I think Instagram is a huge offender when it comes to impacting people's confidence or self-worth, feeling like you have to be perfect. And so one way that I helped this was not only did I cut back on my Instagram use, I became more intentional with it. I unfollowed anyone who was making me feel insecure or like I wasn't good enough the way that I was. Anyone who wasn't inspiring to me or a family member or a really good friend, which, you know, those people should be inspiring to you as well. I just unfollowed and, you know, people can take it personal if they want, but if you are not impacting me in a positive way, then there's no reason for me to be following you, honestly. So kind of following right along with that is the people that you surround yourself so there's a quote that's like you are the five people that you surround yourself with or the five people you're closest to so if you're surrounding yourself with highly motivated people confident people happy people positive people that's in turn what you are going to become. But if you're surrounded with the opposite, people who are insecure and need validation and only care about physical appearances, stuff like that, then that's all you're gonna care about and you're never gonna feel good enough. So this is definitely a big one, I feel like, especially going into adulthood, like just being more intentional with the people that you hang out with and intentional about who your friends are and really pay attention to how they act, how they treat you, what they say to you. If you hang out with people who literally don't care what they look like, what they're wearing, stuff like that, then you're probably not gonna really care about it either. Um, another thing going along with that is surrounding yourself with people who love you for you, not for what you can give them, not for the way that you look, not for literally anything, like just because they love you as a person. Little quick shout out to my friends here in Texas. Like they're just the best. No one cares about like superficial stuff. They don't care about followers. Like literally one of my friends doesn't have any social media. He has a Twitter. Um, they don't care about that stuff. They don't care what you're wearing or anything. They're just vibing. They're just hanging. We all love each other for who we are as people and not for what we can give each other. Like they're just a really great group of friends and I know it's hard to find, but there's like that sound on TikTok that's like, I may be a loner, but at least I don't hang out with people who talk crap about me. So just keep that in mind. Like if it comes down to it and it is having like no friends or one friend versus having a big friend group who don't actually care about you and talk bad about you, it's definitely not worth having all the friends because there's more to life than just having big friends and always doing fun stuff. Like the way that you perceive yourself and the people you're around 
are so much more important than that. What you're looking at, who you're surrounded with, this is all gonna impact you so much and what you think about yourself. And you don't even realize that that's happening, but it is definitely happening. So my next point is about your outer appearance. I felt like when I needed validation from other people, whether it was about how I was acting or how I look or whatever, a lot of it came down to what my physical appearance was of what I was wearing, how I was doing my makeup, how I was doing my hair, what my hair color was, whether I was trying to appeal to people, try to be like the Sydney people wanted, whatever it was, I cared way too much what people thought about me. And I just tried to let that go. And the way that I did that is starting doing things for me, doing activities for myself, uh, doing passions that I actually enjoy and dressing for myself. Like you may not think that this is a very cute outfit. Maybe you do think it's cute. Maybe it's like too basic. I feel like that's a huge problem in our generation is really needing to not be basic. If you dress basic and you like it, who cares? Like wear what you're comfortable in, wear what you're confident in. You don't need other people to validate the way that you're dressing or looking. Like if you like an outfit, wear it. If you are wearing an outfit that other people think is ugly and you're just like super comfortable then who cares same goes with like your makeup if you want to do your makeup a certain way and it's not trendy or whatever like who cares the sooner you can let go of all those expectations like the more you're gonna love yourself the more you're gonna be confident all that so another one is and this goes for like every problem I have being busy like seriously stay busy do work or school or whatever it is go on a walk go to the gym just do something cook a nice meal the busier you are, the less you're caring about what other people are thinking about you because you have your own things going on, you've got places to be, you've got things to do, you have no time to care about who's saying what about you, what people think about what you're wearing or what you're saying or what you're doing. Just stay busy, focus on yourself, and you're good to go. And then this kind of goes along with it, but find a passion, do something that you really love, throw yourself into it. And I think the sooner you can find something that you are super passionate about, the better, because when someone comes and attacks like something about you and you're insecure about it, it's easy to let them win and to be like, oh, well, maybe you're right. But if someone comes in and attacks your passion, your work, everything you've put yourself into, you're like, okay, I don't care about your opinion. That's your opinion. This is my thing. And that's really helped me just like finding something that I am so passionate about. That you can say you hate it. And I could not care less because I have given like my whole self to this thing. There's nothing you can say that changed my opinion. And then I started taking that same energy into just being myself. I don't care what you have to say. I am becoming the best version of myself. And if you don't like it, then that's on you. It's really not my problem what you think about me. Another one is just grounding yourself. And there's a lot that goes into this. Um, one of the things that helps is being more thankful for what's around you. Like seriously, appreciate what you have. You have a functioning body. You have, you know, whatever it is. You have clean water to drink. You have food to eat. You have a bed to sleep in. Like genuinely be appreciative of those things. Just ground yourself. Like there's so much more in the world, so many more issues than what people think about you. And this might be a hot take, but I have seen this in myself. And since having this perspective, I feel like it's actually helped me. We are all so selfish. And obviously there are times like, okay, yeah, be a little selfish about that. But the need for validation is such a selfish thing because it's all about you. You want to know what everyone thinks about you. You want to be the coolest. You want to be the best. It's all about you. But if you stop thinking about yourself and think more about the people around you, um, just showing love, being positive, uh, making an impact on the world, becoming a better person so that you can help other people more, like you're not going to care about validation anymore because you are not thinking about yourself. And I think that this was a huge problem with me with anything. The reason I hated myself is because I was selfish. I was only thinking about myself and what other people thought about me. I don't even I don't even really know how to explain but the less selfish I was the more better of a person I became the, the less selfish I was the more I liked myself and the less I cared about other people and what their opinions are of me oh and this is another one like if you need to post less on social media and do that too I know this is kind of backtracking but that's honestly helped me like not posting everything I do online for people to approve or disapprove of like I'm just doing it for me I'm not doing it for Instagram I'm just doing it because I want to. Another big one. I think this is a huge problem that a lot of people have. I had this problem. Letting other people define you, letting things define you, letting people define you and give you your identity, putting your identity in things and people when that is not at all who you are, that is not your identity, that does not define you. You are not your circumstances. You are more 
then you're more than all of that. You're a human being with complex emotions, with a whole life. Like you're a whole human being and you're gonna let other people's opinions of you define you and change how you think about yourself and you're gonna rely on those opinions. The faster you can let go of needing your identity to be something so fragile. I don't even, I don't even know what the right word is, but don't put your identity in one person. Don't put your identity in one thing. Even if it is the super passionate thing, like yes, I'm a YouTuber and I'm super passionate about it, but my whole identity is not being a YouTuber. And we all know those people that are like put their whole identity into being one thing. Like, no, this is not to come off offensive or anything about vegans, but like there's like the stereotype that vegans, their whole personality is being vegan, their identity is being vegan. I'm vegan, everyone should be vegan vegan like no one likes someone like that and that goes for like literally anything like imagine if all i talked about was being a youtuber no one would like that and so don't like put your identity or let you yourself be defined by one thing or one person that genuinely helps so much letting go of the whole needing your identity to be in something um okay the next thing okay also real quick i'm gonna tell you guys i've been trying the under eye cat eyeliner i think it's so cool i love the way it looks on me and here's the thing i don't care what other people's opinions are of it because i like it you know I'm becoming better you know how i knew i was getting better at this is i can post things and people can comment something mean on it and i'm like okay like that's your opinion good job like i don't care this is my life like you don't have to be sydney every day I do, so I don't really care. <laughs> um, okay, and then kind of the last thing I have on here is just stop taking everything so personal. If you read something online that offends you, that wasn't written at you, don't take offense to it, it's not a personal thing. And even if someone says something straight up rude, straight to your face about you, don't take it personal. And that's the hardest one. The thing is that they are not being mean to you, they're being mean to themselves. They obviously have insecurities and that reflects who they are on the inside, not who you are. What someone mean says to you does not define you, it defines them. I know this is really, really hard and it's something I really struggle with, but not everything is about you and don't take it personal even if someone says something straight up rude but like imagine if every time someone was mean to you you just brushed it off and you're like okay like imagine how infuriating for that person and imagine how amazing and freeing for you to not have that burden anymore of needing the validation from someone because you know who you are you don't need other people's validation you know you you're good i don't know maybe a lot of this is a little bit of a hot take but this is just what's worked for me and I'm not saying it 100% worked for you and I'm not saying that it's easy, but I'm just saying that one of the best things that I've done for self growth is to stop needing validation from other people. And I mean everyone. Stop needing validation from even like family members, even friends, like, the less you need validation from other people, the more like content and chill you're gonna be. And I'm not saying like, don't care about what people think about you ever. Like obviously you wanna have a good reputation and you want you know your good close friends to like you, but if they're good friends, they're gonna like you anyway. And you know, if you're close, if your good friends or your family are telling you some advice or like an opinion or just trying to help you out, that's different than like always needing validation from someone. Like I'm not saying don't ever listen to anyone or anyone's opinions of you because sometimes it's constructive criticism or something like that. Like sometimes people are trying to help. But for the most part, you do not need all this validation from random people, from people on the internet. You don't need followers, you don't need likes. Like literally, I used to be so number driven and it would drive me crazy when I would lose subscribers, not get as many views or my Instagram picture and get as many likes, whatever it is. And I have literally let that go. I post a picture, I don't care how many likes it gets. I post a video, I put my heart and soul into that. It's the YouTube algorithm now. <laughs> it's whatever. I'm doing it because I like it and I'm passionate about it. And whether it gets a bunch of views or not, I'm not validated or invalidated by either one of those. And it's taken me a lot of work to get to where I am, but it is so worth it. But anyway, I'm wearing an outfit that I'm comfy and feel good in. I did my makeup on what makes me happy. I'm just gonna wear my hair in this bun and that's the vibe because I don't care about other people's validation or opinions of me. I'm just doing what works for me. And I know that the way that I live my life might not be everyone's cup of tea and everyone might not agree with it. And the thing is, not everyone has to because we're all individual people, we all have our own opinions and we should all just stop caring so much about what everyone else thinks about us. So I know it's a hard thing, but letting go of the need for validation from other people really has 
changed my life and changed the way that I think about myself. I hope this could help like one person. That would be great. But um, if you guys enjoyed or got some good advice out of it, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Maybe leave some more tips in the comments down below. Something. I love you guys so much. Y'all are like my family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.